This son isn't just any old baby. He says, and you are to call him Jesus, which literally means, and the Lord saves. He will be a savior for his people. Verse 32, and he will be great. And he will be called the son of the most high. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father, David, which is a wildly significant reference. It's the second time that David is mentioned in these few verses, and it's a callback to King David, who is known to be the model king of all the kings in Israel, in their history. Because there's a long list of really bad kings, and then there's David, who is said to be a man after God's own heart, and this baby comes from his line and will be a king like David, an even better king And it says in verse 33, he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever and his kingdom will never end. Like what an amazing description of a baby to be born. I mean, imagine if you were expecting the birth of a son or a daughter and somebody were to come to you and name, this is what your kid is going to be. One day, your firstborn will be the president of the United States of America. That would be like, mind-blowing. I mean, a lot of times raising kids is like, will they ever learn to make their bed when they're an adult? Like, really? Like, but to have, like, they will be the president of the United States. Or, or, Or to say, there's this strand of cancer that's incurable, and your son or daughter will find a cure to that disease. Or in about 50 years' time, The entire global economy will be on the brink of collapse, but your son or daughter will find an economic strategy to revitalize the entire world. Your son or daughter will bring peace, bring peace to everybody. Like, what an overwhelming announcement. It's not just, you are going to have a baby, Mary. This baby is going to be a baby far greater than any other baby that has been born. 